Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to embed uh, interactive content into uh, one of the breakouts. So in this case, what I want to do first, uh, I'm going to go down here and just set up a little bit of this. So I'm going to insert some text and I'm going to insert something about a, um, a position time graph or a distance time graph. So this is going to be my scenario. And then now I want to go into embedding using an embed code. Um, and that's where I'm going to paste in this embed code that I get from a resource called H5P. So if you go to h5p.org, um, org, this allows you to create interactive content. So uh, you can click on examples and downloads and see all the different types of content you can create. Um, like drag and drops or finding hotspots and you can tailor feedback based on certain solutions. Um, so the one that we're going to look at is image sequencing and what I've basically done in image sequencing is we've created a um, we've we've created one where uh, it's a distance time graph and when the student gets the all these different uh, images in the correct order based on the scenario that I just pasted into the, the Google site back here, um, then they'll get to see the answer. So right now these are all incorrect and notice I've put the, the words of colors below. So uh, if we go like blue, red, yellow, orange, purple, I think that's the correct answer. Check that and you get five out of five. So then that would be the order of the colors. So, uh, and I set that up inside the, the Google form as well for the blocks. So once you've created something inside here in H5P, uh, you can cr click on this embed part and then up will pop an embed code. You can copy that, go right back into here, remember, and paste in that embed code. Next, insert. And it will show it like this if you stretch it out to the, the full length. And chances are that'll be a little bit better. And I can publish it. And it might be a little bit small. So I may have to actually, um, I might have to change the sizing on it. Uh, so I'll just change it a little bit right now. But I think when it goes into the actual site full screen, you should be able to see the whole thing. So I'll publish it again, view the published site. And then we can see what that actually looks like. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you've got, yeah, see it shows all five there. So you've got the, the scenario here, which uh, is being referenced right here. Um, so once you order that in properly, then check and those would be the answers blue red yellow orange purple for the lock that I've created up here notice color lock no spaces those are the different colors they can use and it's b r o y b r y o p and and if that's correct if I had an PO it would be incorrect.